Nataka kila moja asikize hii neno. Uh, Psalms 44. Mistari ile ni ya 11. Umetutoa kama kondoo tuwe chakula na kututawanya kati ya mataifa. Wawauza watu waka, wako bila kupata mali wala hakupata faida kwa dhamani yao. Umetufanya kuwa lawama kwa jirani zetu mzaha na dhihaka kwao wanaotuzunguka God bless you hao ni watu wabaye wameamini Mungu ambaye unaweza pata ya kwamba wanafanywa kuwa rawama umeokoka lakini unafanywa hiyo ni neno ambaye ni ya saa hizi ambaye mtu akiamini Mungu sana shetani hu make sure kwenu mnaraumiana na Bible inasema huyu ni Daudi ana approach umefanya tu ya rawama mbele ya majirani wanatusuguka na everything that unafanya watu wanakuraumu Everything unafanya unaraumiwa. Na Bible inasema ya kwamba tusome pale chini. 13 Umetufanya kuwa lawama kwa jirani zetu, mzaha na dhihaka kwao wanaotuzunguka. Umetufanya kuwa midhali kwa mataifa sababu Sikiliza, hiyo midhali ni nini? Watu wanaitwa, ah ni watu wameokoka. Ha ni bari ya fulani. So, ah watu wakafanywa kuwa lawama mbele ya watu. Hata utafute Mungu unaraumiwa. So, Watu wanapeana example. Ah, kama kuamini Mungu ni kwa baria fulani. Ai, kama uokovu ni wa kuna fulani tagu waokoke. Amekuwa hivyo. Bible inasema Daudi akawa na ujasiri. Akasema nimefanywa kuwa sisi wana wa Israeli tumefanywa kuwa rawama. Na tumekuwa rawa medhari. Unatafuta Mungu lakini you become a next bit instead of you become an example. You become a next bit. There is a different between to become an exhibit and an example. And the time umekuwa exhibit. Wewe umekuwa exhibit utakuwa medhari ama mfano. Ahoya kana gaido kaka kwake. Anaombaga lakini haponagi. Anaombaga na kwake watoto ndio wanafuta bagi. Anafanyaga lakini hivyo. Sasa ikafika mahali hapa wakakaa chini waulize wa, si waobe Mungu wakae chini waulize god lord we have become the exhibit we have become the songs of proverb to other people yes hapa bible ikinasema hata kama tumepitia hapo hatujai kukana wewe mungu imagine god umetufanya kuwa hivyo watu wote wanatoka na jina letu uchafu ukisoma hivyo nataka tuisome pole pole inasema hata kama tumekuwa proverb hata kama tumekuwa medhari hata kama tumechekwa lord hatujai kuacha kuja kwa nyumba yako hatujaacha kuja kwa nyumba yako hebu tuangalie tuendelee kidogo mstari wa 17 haya yote yametupata bali hatukukusahau wala hatukulihalifu agano lako tukuiacha mioyo yetu irudi nyuma wala hatua zetu azikuiacha njia yako hata uponde katika kao la mbwa mwitu na kutufunika kwa uvuli wa mauti kawa tulisahau jina la Mungu wetu au kumuonyeshea Mungu wetu Mungu mgeni mikono yetu aha je Mungu hata alichunguza neno hilo God bless you nataka tuangaliage there is a just god by yote inasema wewe kama hatulitusiwa tukaja na madeni kanisani tukaja tukiwa wagonjwa tukiwa tukiitwa maraya na waizi na wakora watoto wetu wakiitwa nini lakini hakuna siku bwana tumewahi enda kuabudu miugu ingine wewe mungu hutachuguza hiyo ukweli utusaidie i speaking somebody yes hiyo neno nilikuwa nataka lishuke meoni mwenu nikwambie ya kwamba i will never give up because najua matendo yangu itakuja kuchuguzwa na mungu Leo nijalitaka kutia mtu moyo ya kwamba regardless what you go through regardless people wanaiba story yako vibaya na wewe unasimama na Mungu na wewe hata kama medhari the proverb people are talking people are threatening you people are accusing you na wewe hujai acha ama ukarudi na nyuma hata kama wewe ni mudhaifu sana you are very weak wewe ni mudhaifu sana ya kwamba wakati mwingine unashidwa kuja kanisani because ya vile jirani alikuamkia 
because of how your sister alikuamukia because of how your brother alikuamukia because of how your neighbor alikuambia huyu mungu na obaga hakupeagi pesa because of vile watu wanakuinukia vile unaoba kwa kesha na hakuna kitu ina change usijali madha eh, proverb 44 bible inasema hata kama majirani wanatoa bihaka juu yetu bwana atakuja kuamua jisiku moja bwana atakuja kuchuguza hata kama tuko wadhivu hatukurudisha miguu ama tukapata watu wanaabudu miungu na sisi tukawa join tuliendelea katika kumwamini Mungu regardless god is so far, far far away from us we are still roaring we are still eh, moving we are still hoping but we are still not giving up Taka nione mtu atasema I'll never give up. I'll never give up. I'll never give up. Nataka nione mtu ambaye atasema sitakata tamaa. Sitakata tamaa. Katika upendo nimempenda Mungu. Katika upendo nimempenda. Mungu siku moja atachunguza upendo wangu. Siku moja atachunguza. Siku moja Petro alikuwa anataka Yesu aku anajua nani sincerely ako na yeye. Akaita Petro, 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 mwana wa Jona, unanipenda. Petro 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 unanipenda Ah Petro akamwambia si wewe unajua wakati mwingine mapito tunayepitia inakuwa kipimo ni wait ni we ni we ili Bwana atuaminie the patience kufumilia kwa Ibrahimu ndio kulifanya aitwe baba wa imani kufumilia kwa Hana ndio likulifanya azae manabii kufumilia 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 haleluya haleluya kunaye mtu yako hapa kunaye neema ya kufumilia kufumilia hukatagi tamaa mtu mfumilifu akatagi tamaa mfumilifu muswahili alisema alikurabifu the patience jina la bwana nipewe sifa akaendelea kauliza mwana wa jona mwana wa jona petro petro mwana wa jona unanipenda petro akaenda tena akamuliza Petro na kuuliza mara ingine do you love me ah Petro akamkasirika mwambia si hata wewe unajua anajua kwa nini tulikuto tukipigana wanafusi wote wakakuacha mimi nikafumilia niliachwa tukiuza samaki mimi nikafumilia siku anakata tamaa kukuamini akamuliza tena Petro 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 mwana wa Jona do you love me akamwambia ah si unajua juu mtu amependa mtu na haoni anakasirikaga wakati akaona kukasirika kwa upendo kuna wakati utajaribiwa mpaka Mungu aone kama umekasirika kumpenda mambo mengine inatusukuma kwa doa inatusukuma kwa huduma ili tukata tamaa tuache mwito haleluya inatufinya inatufinya tuache mwito wa biashara tuache mwito wa maono lakini hayo yote when you declare and you decline i'll never give up i'm soberness i'm going to follow this way i'm not going to kata tamaa mimi nitaendelea hata kama ni kugumu bwana atachuguza upendo ninayempenda bwana atakayechuguza upendo ninayempata ataangalia hayo hata kama pasta hataangalia hata kama mama yangu hataangalia hata kama majirani hawataangalia siku moja Mungu ataangalia hiyo maneno siku moja Mungu ataangalia maneno ataangalia vile sikurudi nyuma ataangalia vile ninayoifanya aliangalia nikiwa mgojwa bado nilimshuhudia nikiwa sina fedha nilimshuhudia nikiwa nikiwa chini nilimshuhudia sema Mungu ataangalia jambo moja Mungu ataangalia jambo moja haleluya siwaambie jirani mwambie Mungu ataangalia hiyo moja moja ini mwira na kimwiro yako mwambie na kijina yako ngainua kazi hizi aondomwe kama ni masai hongolo shongolo tanganyana Hey ya 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 gaino akono domwe Tuongee kiingiliki tenge 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 paka Hey si mwambie Mungu ataangalia jambo moja Mungu ataangalia jambo moja Nilikuwa mgojwa sikukata tamaa kwake 
nilikuwa ninatusiwa na majirani siku kata tamaa kwake nilikuwa nimeonewa siku kata tamaa kwake yes god will consider that oh, yes. people might not consider you mm. people might not consider you away oh, yes. people might not consider what you are talking mm. but one day god will consider mm. god will consider god will consider bona atagalia hiyo mambo pokeni neema bona consider god will consider just one issue kuna mtu naongelesha kuna wakati utataka typing kuna wakati utapata mafuta inapeana na upendo kuna wakati utapata maombi na obaona na maombi na mapendo kuna wakati utapata watu wanakaa grupu na vile wanaelewana lakini let me tell you kama umekurify Psalms 44 mistari ile ya kwamba tulidhihakiwa na jirani wetu tulichochewa tulionekana watu wamechukiwa lakini hata kama hayo si Mungu utaangalia hatukurudi nyuma God will must consider oh yes angalia Mungu ataangalia consider one issue na leo ninataka kuwaobea na kuwanenea God must consider oh yes God will consider oh yes God will consider. Oh, yes. Goga goga jirani hata kama hamujui. Mwambie nimetumwa na Pastor David. <laughs> God must consider you. Hii mwezi hautaisha. Eh na kama unasikia ukoloni liguza gusa moyo wako. Mwambie, jiambie wewe mwili wangu wewe roho yangu. Najua people are not considering you. Lakini God will consider. Pokeni neema ya kuwaagilia ya hapo mwana akabariki. Pokeni Tukisoma katika kitabu Bible inasema kitabu cha Yohana mtakatifu mlango wa 21 mstari wa 15 Basi walipokuisha kula Yesu akamwambia Simoni Petro Je Simeoni wa Yohana wewe wanipenda kuliko hawa Turudie tena Yohana mtakatifu 21 mstari wa 15 Basi walipokuisha kula Yesu akamwambia Simeoni Petro Turudie tena Kitabu cha Yohana mtakatifu 21 mstari wa 15 Basi walipokuisha kula Yesu akamwambia Simeoni Petro Je Simeoni wa Yohana wewe wanipenda kuliko hawa akamwambia Nam Bwana wewe wajua kuwa nakupenda akamwambia Lisha wana kondoo wangu Mstari wa 16 akamwambia tena mara ya pili Simoni wa Yohana wanipenda akamwambia ndio bwana wewe wajua kuwa nakupenda akamwambia chunga kondoo zangu 17 akamwambia mara ya tatu Simeoni wa Yohana wanipenda Petro alihuzunika kwa vile alivyomwambia mara ya tatu wanipenda akamwambia bwana wewe wajua yote wewe umetambua ya kuwa nakupenda Yesu akamwambia lisha kondoo zangu ina maana bili kunipenda wanipenda kuliko hawa amen <laughs> ukisoma bible inasema it's only petro alifuata mpaka kuona mateso ya yesu walipokuwa gethisemane gethisemane wote walijikata everybody alijikata lakini walikuwa wanamfuata juu ya miracles wengine lakini Bible inasema is only Petro aliona mateso ya Yesu akipigwa akifuliwa manguo alimukana the last minute about the weakness katika udhaifu katika wakati nguvu zote alikuwa nazo at the time of his strength at the time of his soberness alifuata Yesu let me tell you god will consider wakati wa nguvu zako vile ulifanya. Sikilizani watu wa Mungu, kumtumikia Mungu si ujinga. Na mniangalia vizuri. Na kufuata Mungu si ujinga. Mungu hafanyagi ikuilatoro na usidaganywe na mtu. Look at me. Mungu hafanyagi ikuilatoro. Oh balance the equation, nothing like that. Na ujue hivyo. Mungu hatafanya the balancing the equation kama ulimtumikia ni his own strength wakati your soberness wakati hata kama utadhaufika 
God will consider this. Waesakuwa umefuji wa Psalms 44 inasema, majirani na watu wanatudhi haki. Wakiuliza, uyu mugu mmeabudu, munaabudu kanisa kutoka jioni. Keshe unakuwa na bawani. First thing you niwewe. Hiyo dihaka zote. Bible inasema, one day God will sit down and consider it. Watoto, vijana, umefunga, unaitua, umeshil, umeshil, hata kama wale mabistu wako wameenda na wamekua chonjo. Let me tell you, God will consider your youth. God ata. Wewe mama, unafagia, wegina wanakuja, wanaona wapasta hawaoni, wanaachana kufagia, wegina wanaachana juhapigui makofi, na wabiwi, hawatabulikani, lifaron. God will consider Amen. what you have been doing. Kuna mtu na ugeresha? Yes. Kuna mtu na ugeresha? Na leo si mungu wa inue neema ya kukonsida hiyo. Oh, yes. Si leo mungu. Bible inasema siku moja. Moride kai. Moride kai ya kiwa mekaa hivyo. Haku give up kuteda mema. Akiwa mekaa chini. Siku moja akaokoa. Mufarume na kaeda kamuabia na ikaandikwa. Lakini baadae, akaka, hakuna kitu walipewa, haku wabio asante, haku wabio congratulation, haku peo kiti yote, yote kwa serikali, na ikakaa chini. Ikaenda meaka na mikakaa. Ikaenda. One day, hata siya ya likuwa meleka petition. Mufarume ya kiwa merara hivi, akakubuka kuna siku moja aliyokolewa na kifo na haku hata hawaku consider huyo mtu alimuokona ilikuwa ukweli akiwa amerara bila hivi akaamka akasema akaita Hamani akamuita dia alikuwa vipi wake kamwambia kuna siku moja niliyokolewa na jamaa moja ambaye ni geti kipa pale sasa hizo wamechapa sasa hizo wako na stress Juu huyu hamani, dia nataka kumuua. Huyu hamani, amepanga mpaka musalaba, bila mfari kujua. Let me tell you people, wakati wa hatari yako, kwa yare ulikosa kuacha mungu, kwa bidi uliweka, mungu atatuma maraika, wagu consider wewe. Ata kama ni wakati wako wa moto kuwaka, ata kama ni wakati wako wa kufurio guo, kama mirimagidarina, siku moja mungu, Ata consider yale yote moja. Kukosa kumukanya, kukosa kukata tamaa, kumuakirisha, either umerarukiwa, kumukonsida, ata kama ukomunyonge, God will consider at the time of your soberness. God will consider the time you have the strength, what you have done in his kingdom. Amen. Baby, nasema katika itabu ya Esther, wakiwa wamekaa hivo, what did it happen? Ye yeah, hajui kitu ya wahayudi wamepangiwa. Akamuita na wakakura. Na akamuulize ugeataka nini hakuna. Akampatia siku igina akamuambia. Siku furani uede umweke kwa, kwa, kwa farasi. Na uede wewe mwenyewe na uziadike mtu mwigine. Upige bija. Ukisema huyu diyo mtu ule mfarume ya mepeda sana. Bila kujua huyu anampe diya memundi haki. Huyo amepe kazi, dia na mchekerea. Dia na ibaga medhali. Ake muwekela anguda ini. Aka muweka, aka sema, huyo diyo mfarime amepeda sana. Nesa hizo, kuna senari ilishikana. Jikoso wakati mungu ata kukonsida, will make a good connection. Every time that God will consider, if it is hell otherwise, if it is physical wise, if it is spiritual, uh, spiritual wise, God will make sure all the connection is good. Kutoka mashinani mpaka mashabani. Kutoka biguni mpaka duniani. Si siku ya leo mungu wa kukonside. Si mungu wa konside jabo moja. Si mungu wa konside bebe. Yare mapa majaribu inakuja huja kata tama. Poke ni nema. Ya buwana kuagaria hayo. Ya buwana kuagaria vile mulisimama kwenu. Mukafuja mapa ya uganga. 
mukavuja mambo ya hasara mukasimamia Mungu wakati wengine hawakukaa kitabu ya Esther inasema akawekwa akaconsiderwa i want to tell you to do this kama binadamu anaweza consider mtu what about god don't give up don't give up don't give up don't give up god will consider you amen hello my topic today don't give up god will consider you oh yes don't give up oh yes god will give god will consider you don't give up amen don't give up ata ushishide pana mungu ataangalia hayo amen amen mungu ataangalia hayo turudie tena psalms 44 kwa haya yote si Mungu ataangalia hapo underline just only that ndio niombe muende wewe ulio nyumbani unanitasama saa hizi unalia umeacha kwenda kanisa juu ya watu watu walikuwa wako na watu watakuwa wako lakini na kama umeadikiwa Psalms 44 watu watoe dhihaka na proverb ida kwa Mungu Mungu siku moja atakonsider wewe umekitoroka kwa kwa wewe unanipata wewe uko karibu unataka kunywa dawa wewe umekaza tamaa na kuna mambo mawili matatu ambaye uko mgojo wa kitadani God will consider one thing uliyofanya amen wake up now just go back to God go back labda dio failo yako inafunguliwa Mungu aangalie hayo na wewe ndio unakata tamaa go back to god ili akianza kutumana akutume kwake rudi kwa nyumba yako rudi kwa imani yako rudi ya Mungu wewe pata imani god will consider that amen god will consider you oh yes god will consider you god will consider you baba bariki huyu mjirani huyo mtu wako nyumbani kubali ya kuwe considered katika jina la Yesu Kristo na bwana kuamini ulio nyumbani god will consider you don't give up god will consider you amen